Half Nar Beauty Adventures from 1951 starring Zack Hawkins and a few other shop. The other cast didn't ring my bell, but Zack Hawkins was in lots of movies in the 50s and he was the real deal back in the old days. So about this movie, if it be entered, I'm going to give this movie 7 out of 10 because some skis I like it, some skis I did like it. It's when I took the sorbets to the good set this time. I also became Jack Hawkins fan. So yeah, so when I took the movie, see worse movies in better movies. And this movie centers on the diamonds and Jack Hawkins finds diamonds and he hides them in the desert. And then later in the movie, four guys go to search for the time, those diamonds. And they eventually find those diamonds. So yeah, call this movie if it be internet 7 out of 10. They also did get called in the mind in this movie. And it's a pretty complicated movie. And but I don't know how the, in the end of this movie how got the diamonds. Because Jack Havoc is thought in this movie. And there were three survivors, maybe they split the thumbs or something like that. But Zack Havkis didn't get any thumbs because he died in, in the end of this movie. <coughs> also remember they were in the vault. And there was Leopard. And I don't know what happened to that Leopard, but... As I remember in the beginning of this movie, there were, there were bar in South Africa and the guys went off that bar and they found the diamonds and after that Jack Hawkins went to the city and said that he needs money to get the group to get those diamonds. And the next case where the, the, there were four, four men and they were searching for those diamonds and Jack Havgis found the diamonds like I said. And, but I don't know what happened to diamonds at the very end of this movie. So yeah, so when I the movie called this movie, this movie got f full of actors popular at their time. And I gave it to when I took them because... This relief was not a western because it was South Africa. But it had western elements, they got the caravans and bulls and so maybe it was sort of a western, so it's seven out of ten because I don't know what sort this movie is, but seven out of the movie pretty much like it. So go to move if it be entered as a Venet of Tenant. Just became Jack Hawkins fan because I, I haven't seen much of his movies. And of course I've heard the name Jack Hawkins, so which means he was in totally bad this move, movies in the uh, old days. <coughs> the rest of the actors did ring my bell. And If I remember right, Bernard Lee was in this movie. Who he is, he, he was M in James Bond movies. Those old cool, cool James Bond movies with Jen Conner and Roger Moore. But the rest of the cast didn't definitely ring my bell. And Jack Havoc stole every skin, skin he was in this movie. And Bernard Lee probably was in this movie, but I didn't recognize him. But I think Take the credits that said, said Bernard Lee. So yeah, now the fifth one movie, this was Black and Fat and Seven and Fifth, and of course there was sound because sound came in the 30s. And fifth is Western type movie, get Seven and Fifth, because see better movies, see worse movies, and 
Van als ze van het of ten actually zo was dat de koorts had begast. Iets over middelen die vaart ten. Zo was dat de koorts had te zwaar of ten cranky system in mijn system. Zo gaat het movie even bij internet. Ik had zo'n moments in this movie, but very average movie, seven, seven out of ten. Seen better movies, seen worse movies, like I said. And well, let's just say I like this movie, okay, but.